Welcome back. Now in this video we're going to walk through the completion of our account settings. You're going to want to place into the dialog box a company name. You're then going to want to choose an account domain. And if you already have a landing page completed, you can select it. If you have a landing page, you can use it for your home page. Once you have your information in, you can then click Save Settings. In some cases, before you can start saving information, you're going to need to write in your sending address and your country. You're then going to want to make sure your profile is correct. You will have a photo inside, and that will typically be based on your Gravatar if you're using an email address connected to your WordPress account. Now, in your email settings, ConvertKit will use the information that you have in the email section you typically have an email that will be your sending email unless you add an address and specify otherwise you'll see your address which is going to be required for sending and will be at the bottom of your emails as a reply address now one of the things that you can do is to verify your domain in order to make sure that your emails will be deliverable you're going to click this button that says verify your domain you're then going to want to write in your domain now in order to verify the domain, you're going to want to add these records to your CNAME. Now typically this is going to be something that you may have to have done with your host depending on how these records are done. The best thing to do would be to check with your host to understand exactly how they would want it done. Depending on your level of account, this will be something that you'll need to complete yourself at the host or you'll need to have their support to do it for you. Now, once your records have changed, you may need to come back to this page. Click Validate Your Domain, then click Validate. ConvertKit will then let you know. ConvertKit will then let you know your domain name has then been validated. You'll then click Close. Now, in terms of custom domains, you'll need to have a landing page first, and we'll be doing that in another video. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I'll see you in another video.